Okay, I'm going to show you a quick video that my wife and I did on imprinting the whistle recall. So in this video you're going to see this dog's very first session on the whistle recall. It's very simple, very easy to do, and, uh, and it does resemble the restraint recalls that most people do. So what we're doing here is moving the dog away for about 25 feet or so the trainer will whistle and the whistle is the cue to the assistant to release the dog the dog has to be obviously a little bit excited about going to the trainer so some teasing might be required here now what i'm doing is i'm coming over grabbing the dog pulling her away to create more anticipation this makes it go nice and smooth uh, and it makes us to the dog has that desire to go back and stay with the trainer. So what I'm telling you here is to stand straight when she whistles. This way the dog can get used to that whole picture. Which on competition or even if it's a pet obedience scenario, uh, we don't want to bend over to call the dog. We want to call the dog with a nice straight posture and that be the picture for the recall, especially in competition because any little bit of movement or bending over will be points against you. And we are using the clicker to mark the moment in time that is perfect. In this case, speed um, and so speed and, and commitment, those are moments that we're marking. But the clicker is obviously not necessary. At this point, the clicker has been conditioned, meaning the dog understands what the clicker is. But the whistle is brand new. We are, we are conditioning the whistle here. We want the whistle to be very, very important, which is why we're pairing it up with something she really wants, which is food. Now you notice that the dog has a lot of anticipation, like I said earlier. If for whatever reason this dog was not interested in the trainer, then the trainer would tease the dog a lot more or the, uh, the distance would have to be brought down a little bit more. So there'd be less distance, less possibility for the dog to get distracted. This is not the case with this dog because my wife has put in a lot of work with this pup uh, there is already a good relationship here and this dog finds her fascinating because of all the work and all the good things, all good associations that have taken place over the last few weeks. And we're wrapping it up and want to keep it nice and short. We don't want to drag it too, too long.